So most design tools, in my opinion, are a hit or a miss. I have spent thousands of hours trying to figure out which tools are worth it and which are not. I'm gonna to present to you only five of them. These are the best that I use daily and I recommend. So number one is gonna be Framer. Now, when Framer first came out, I was the very first skeptic. I was 100% in on Webflow and I was like, ah, just another thing trying to, trying to eat up Webflow's lunch. Well, now, in my opinion, Framer is better for the average person than Webflow. Webflow comes with a lot of bloat, a lot of a uh, massive, massive learning curve. If you don't want to get into code and all that, Framer is the best way to go. The first thing that I thought about when I got into Framer was that it's like Figma, but with a publish button. Well, now they have that. Framer is that. This is a template that I just found here on Framer and it's one of thousands that already exist, but this is a website that is created by Framer. So you can see that it's not just shitty little sites, you know, it's really nicely designed marketing sites, SaaS sites, e-commerce still has a way to go with Framer, but in my opinion, you should be using Shopify for that either way. So Framer is one of the only tools I can truly recommend as a designer, as a freelancer, I use it all the time. So yeah, I mean, take a look at all these different templates here. It is very easy to get lost in this stuff because if you're a designer, you just want to see your designs be live and you want to kind of go from design to live as short as possible. Having to learn Webflow or something like that kind of cuts that process. If you can just skip that and go straight into publish mode and sell those templates, it's gonna attract a lot of designers. So in my opinion, Framer is kind of the website builder for designers first. That is the very first thing. This is an example here, another template. Of course, there are millions by now, I'm sure. But yeah, just super nice work. And we can see what the layers look like. It's always gonna be super well organized, of course. So that's great. Another thing is, and this is from experience of me uploading my own templates and living with people that upload their own templates is that Framer's template selection is a lot more thorough than Webflow. So if you're gonna buy a template for your business, or if you want to upload a template, Framer has a much more thorough process to get that accept. And they go a lot deeper into feedback and making sure that the template is professional and ready to go. Webflow is not that far ahead in terms of that world. I hope it does become, but either way, Framer is a lot better for the quality that you upload and you buy. It's a lot better for that. So at number two, then there's going to be Semflow. So Semflow is one of the best ways to kind of understand what is happening with your website and be able to rank different pages. Now this allows you to audit your pages and you can then see what is ranking, what isn't. So for example, here in their example, they've got pediatric dentist cover. So you can go ahead and enter that keyword and you can see what is gonna be happening for that page. So you can see why it's ranking, why it's not ranking. And that's just gonna be the most critical thing if you are trying to launch a marketing page. If you're trying to rank for, I don't know, children's shoes or children's shoes in Barcelona, then you wanna make sure that the website you are building is gonna be ranking for those keywords. If you can't track that, and if you don't have a way of seeing that, except for Google Analytics, then you can't necessarily understand what to change, what's not working, what is working, and you have no footing into being able to grow. So this is gonna be super important. Now, they recently just purchased this, which is kind of like an extension, a larger version of Semflow. So this is clicks.so. This is kind of like a 2.5 of my, my list here, but it is basically a bigger version of Semflow. So it allows you to be able to put in keywords and really get the nitty gritty of what is working, what isn't. This is supposed to be a competitor to another product called Ahrefs, but Ahrefs is like hundreds of dollars and this is a very affordable version of that software. So you can do keyword research, you can do site analytics and all these things that are just absolutely critical for you to be able to grow your business. So it is just the most critical thing that you can ever have for your website. If you want to understand what is working, why you can grow it, why you can't, this is gonna be super important for you. All right, then comes number three, which is gonna be Notion. This is an example of a Notion board. If you don't know what Notion is, it is a way to organize all of your thoughts instead of having things in notes, in Evernote, in a to-do app, in whatever, you can just have it all in one app. And in this is my one app. There's other versions of this. There's ClickUp, there is Asano, Trello, all these different apps, but in my opinion, Notion is the simplest one. It is the one with the least amount of bloat, which is also very important. And Thomas Frank is someone that has a lot of experience building great templates. I wouldn't recommend just starting out without a template because it can get very overwhelming with what you can do, what you can't do. But Notion is a way that you can kind of create almost like a mini SaaS, almost like a, a little brain for yourself inside of Notion, basically. Now, this guy has a lot of examples of of crazy templates and he makes a lot of money with these. So 
you know that it's going to be good, but I recommend that you go to his YouTube channel and you check out his Notion tutorials. If you haven't gone deep into it, I use a version of his to run my entire life. I'll leave the link to that video that I personally watched and then my review on it here. So do take a look at that, but it's not necessarily just for work. Like for example, this is a, a personal one that I had for last year, but this is basically me planning a triathlon that I was doing last year. And this is me trying to become an Ironman for last year as well. So this is like a, just a, a brain for anything that you want to do for personal, for, I don't know if you have a, if you have, if you have a meal plan, you can do that. This is my meal plan. And this is just a way to organize absolutely everything. So take a screenshot of this if you want to become a triathlete like me, but for real, Notion is one of the best, most versatile ways that you can organize your thoughts. And without this, I'd be mush by now. My brain would turn into mush. So on to the next one is going to be Figma. Now I just did a tutorial on Figma versus Framer and why you should use one or the other. So keep an eye out for that one. But I basically use Framer for all of my thumbnails for web design explorations, of course, and for clients. So Figma is great because you can really have these massive whiteboard explorations. This is an olive brand that I was going to do with my brother a while back, but then we ended up not doing it. So I'm, I don't really feel kind of weird showing you guys, but anyways, I love branding as well. Not just web design. Apart from that, this is a proposal that we did for a web design project that we wanted to do. I'll leave a link to this freebie as a download down below. If you guys want to download this proposal for your own benefit, if you want to create your own version, uh, I'll leave that down below. But Figma is basically the best way to kind of have this massive whiteboard with all these different assets. You can add in fonts, you can add in images and just have this mood board of your own projects. So this never came to fruition. It sucks that it didn't, but it's cool to look back on it and just be able to see all the different projects that I've got going on inside of Figma. And because this is a web design channel, I want to show you guys an actual web design in Figma, not just my olive brand or whatever, but this is me designing my landing pages for my own courses, which link below if you want access to those. But you can see that with Figma, not only can you do web designs where you have this super complex web of designs and components and all this stuff, you can get super nitty gritty with it. You can add in icons, you can do all this, but you can also do massive mood boards for a branding project, for a physical product. We can explore a brand strategy that we did for the for the Olive brand as well. And then you can also do websites, but I don't recommend it. I would use Framer or Webflow or something like that. So that is my endpoint in Figma. Absolutely essential for designers if you are not just doing, I don't know, mood boards or whatever. If you want to go a little bit deeper, get Figma. It's free as well. All right. So this one is a little bit bittersweet mobbin.com. So originally my idea for my own software was to have these kind of inspiration pages, which you could then connect to have components with real life framer and Webflow and stuff. And I got the inspiration from Mobbin. Reason being is because Mobbin is such a great app that I wanted a little slice of it. So Mobbin is something I recommend if you want real images of products without having to go in and sign up for individual ones. So the cool thing is that you can explore not just by screens, like we can obviously see here, but we can go for specific flows, for specific UI elements. So if you wanna just explore login page, we can go ahead and type that in and we'll just see login pages for all the different apps in the world. Then UI elements here. So we can say, okay, I only want to see buttons for sign up. I only want to see little pop-ups. I only want to see progress bars, whatever this is called, or reminders or whatever. You can do that. Then you can do onboarding as well. You can do subscribing. And these are actual videos that you can then see and explore what is actually going on here. So browsing tutorial, starting and completing, browsing home, searching. So these are all examples that you can actually explore with Mobbin. And then you can also search for specific words. And this is all just super critical if you are a designer and you want to go super deep into this stuff. Now, it seems that they have copied me in being able to paste from inspiration. But either way, this is super important. I recommend Mobbin and it's very cheap. It's only 10 a month. So yeah, why not use it? Most designers that I know that are always iterating have something like Mobbin to go and get inspiration super fast. They don't waste time. This is just the best way to do that. You don't have to go and look for a thousand different apps. You can just search this one database. It's fantastic. But this is just a limited list. I created a freebie that goes a little bit deeper into some other apps that I recommend and a quick gift for you guys in there with a simple workflow of how to actually use these apps to go further and further. So 
Link is in the description for everything I've talked about down below. If I haven't added something, please let me know because I am human. I do forget. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys, of course, on the next one.